Hello everyone, welcome to Perfect Number Junior YouTube channel. I'm TJ Asset and today I'm going to be showing you a game called Casting Calls. I have already installed it in my Android phone, so I'm going to just open it up. There you go. As you guys can see, the game has two parts. The first one is going to be the display part where we display our pictures, and the second one is going to be a control panel that has three buttons. So if I press on the dog button, it's going to show us dog paws. And if I do it for the cat, it's going to display the cat paws, and it's going to be the same for the caller. So let's get to App Inverter and make that. So I'm already in App Inventor.mit.edu. Um, so let's start making our game. First thing first, we're going to have to start a new project. Go to My Projects, click on Start New Project, and name it Guess the Pause. Mind you, you can't have space in between. And that should load up your project. Yep, that's great. So you guys might remember a game has two parts. One of them is the, the display part. The second one is a control panel where we control what image to display. In the display part, we are basically displaying a picture. Um, in App Inventor, if we want to display an image or a picture, we're gonna need a component called image. It's it's in user interface, and I'm just gonna get down in here and click on it and drag it to my screen. Um, I'm gonna rename it. What should I rename it? I'm gonna say display image. Um, so display img, I guess. Yeah, that's perfect. Now. I want to change its size, so I'm going to set it to, um, I don't know, let's set to around 300 pixels um, and also 300 pixels for height and width. Alright, so we have a component that can display our pictures, right? But then we need to find some pictures. I'm going to go Google them. So I'm going to go google.com, that's it. And now I'm going to find uh, dogs. Pause. Okay, and then I'm gonna go into images and then look for some images that are really nice. Maybe this one? Yes. Okay, then I'm looking to download this picture, right? So double click on it or right click and save image has, I'm gonna name it as dogs, um, dogs hole, I think, and save it as extra. All right, I have one of them. Second, I want uh, to download for cat. All right then. Um, let's see which one. What do we have? Um, I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say. I like this one actually. Okay, so I'm gonna double click or right click and click on save images. So cat. Uh, pause. Okay, it's been downloaded. All right. So last one is gonna be call. Right. So, koala, pause. All right, and now I'm looking for something that's nice. Um, I like this one. So, double click, save images, and uh, koala, uh, pause. Okay, then. Uh, now I'm going to have to go back to App Inventor and upload the media. So, upload, choose a file. And then desktop, uh, so let's do cat pause first. And then they should appear somewhere here. Yeah, that's perfect. And now I'm gonna choose dog or whichever I find. Dog pause. Uh, okay, next is gonna be the caller because that's the only one left. Press OK. So now we have already uploaded our media, but we want to display our pictures, right? So I'm going to click on display image and uh, I'm going to have to change its properties a little bit. So um, come down to pictures and click on and choose one of them that you like and it should display. That's perfect. When I showed you the game in the start of the video, it had three buttons, our controller buttons, right? So uh, now I'm going to go and add buttons. Uh, a button component is in user interface, the first component. I'm going to click on it and drag it in here. And then I'm going to rename it as dog 
btn okay and then i'm going to change its properties a little bit make it bold uh, font size is going to be a 20 okay and the text that it should display should be dog okay and now i'm going to get one more button and place it in my screen and i'm going to rename it as cat vpn and press ok i'm going to change its properties also so font is going to be bold font size is going to be 20 and then the text that it should display would be cat okay so the last button that i need is going to be for koala so i'm going to rename it as koala btn press k okay and now i'm going to change properties as well one's going to be bold font size is going to be 20 and the text that it would it should display is going to be koala perfect I'm gonna make one more change in my buttons properties um, I'm gonna change their background colors so I'm gonna click each one of them and then go up and uh, change the default color to be orange and for cat I'm gonna select some other color let's do pink and then for koala I'm gonna choose yellow I think okay that's perfect you guys might remember when I showed you the game in the start of this video, our buttons were right next to each, each other horizontally like this, but our buttons are not. Um, in order to do that, we're going to have to get a component called horizontal arrangement. It's in layout and it's the first component. So I'm going to go click on it and drag it to my screen. Okay, I'm going to rename it as buttons h a okay and now i'm gonna uh change dimensions a little bit so i'm gonna change its width to uh fill parent okay and uh height is gonna be three percent okay now i'm gonna drag each of my buttons into this buttons h a so dog is gonna go in cat is gonna go in and call is gonna go in as well next um we want to change the dimensions of each of our buttons so i'm gonna say for for dog i'm gonna click on height and i'm gonna set it to fill parent uh, and um, i'm thinking it's 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 width can be 30 percent for cat it's gonna be the same so fair parent and uh width is gonna be 30 percent Okay, for call is going to be also uh, fair parent. Okay, and uh, it's going to be 30%. Okay, so we have our app almost ready. But then there is one more thing. Can you guys see that uh, our app or the components in our app are sort of tilted towards left hand side? So how do we change and make them come into the middle? I'm thinking we can go back to the very top and click on screen one and then uh, click on horizontal arrangement to center okay that's perfect so that's all for our designer part let's do a bit of recap before we move on to our blocks part um, the functionality of our app is that um, when we press on the dog button uh, we should display a dog image right um, if we pr press on cats button we should display cats paws and it's gonna be same for color having that in mind let's go to blocks all right so the first button that we are going to talk about is our dog button um, because that is the first button in our buttons ha so when we click on it it should display a picture of a dog so let's go into blog side and find dog button it should be inside buttons and a all right and now we are looking for a block that is going to help us detect if this button is being clicked so it's gonna be the first block when dog button is clicked now when we do detect that our dog button is clicked we want to set 
the image of our component name display image to be dogs so we're gonna have to go and find display image it's gonna be this one and now we are looking for a block that is going to help us set an image or a picture to dogs so it's gonna be it's gonna be this one set display image dot picture to all right as you guys can see that uh, there is an empty slot we have to type in the name of the picture or the file that we are trying to display uh, in order to do that we're gonna have to go into text and then get the first blog in the list and connect and put it here and now we're gonna have to type the name of the file that we are trying to display so now we need to check what's the name of the file that we are trying to display in order to do that we're gonna have to go back to our designer side and check is going to be dog post.jpg all right i'm going to come back in here and type dogpaws.jpg all right that's perfect all right so we are done with our dog button next up is going to be our cat button so we are going to do what we did for our dog button first thing first choose the right block that is going to help us detect when it's been clicked okay now now find a blog that is going to help us change the image and display image component so it's going to be set display image dot picture and then put it inside and now go to text uh, get the first blog okay now we need to check what is the name of the file that we are trying to display so go back to the designer part and uh, scroll down it's going to be cat post dot jpeg okay so come back in here and type cat pose dot jpeg all right so we are done with two of our buttons we are gonna code for the last button and while doing that we are going to use a trick the trick is that uh, we can duplicate the blocks that are similar for example even for our caller button we are going to need a block that is going to help us detect when it's been clicked we need a block that is going to help us set the image or picture of display image and we also need uh, uh, a text block that is good, going to help us allow uh, and type the name of the file that we are trying to display so um, we can just select this and double click on it and duplicate and then then we can change its name to koala and we can also change the name of the file that we are trying to display so let's go to designer part and see what's the name of the file it's going to be koala pause.jpg all right come back in here and it's going to be k o dot jpeg all right but um if we only choose one of these blocks for example if i click on this one then i'll only get a duplicate of this particular block for example uh let's do it for example i try and click on duplicate it's it's only going to give the duplicate of this block not the blocks around it um so that's it we are ready with our game then all right guys so let's do a bit of recap about what we learned today um we learned how can we display a picture in order to do that we need to use a component name image that component can be found in user interface um, we can change its dimensions such as width and height to change the size of our images all right secondly we learned about buttons in app inventor we use three of them and then we detected when they were clicked and changed the display picture accordingly all right so the last thing that we learned today is what is horizontal arrangement it is a component that is used to put components side by side next to each other horizontally all right so that's it for today i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to hit on the subscribe button so that you don't miss any of our videos